In this video I'm going to talk about um, working with tapped holes. Uh, in this plate here, the one that's highlighted, we have a full hole for 3 8 bolt, so we want a 7 16 hole for that. In this plate we want a 5 16 hole in order to uh, create the pilot hole for a tapped uh, national course thread bolt. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on this bolt and um, I've already set it up so that only this plate is uh, bolted to part. So we're going to first of all close off that so the bolt is hidden and uh, then we're going to close this go to a uh, uh, where is it now the macro here for um, a view surface view with edge run that and uh, then we will let say the bottom edge be the defining edge. Now I'm going to zoom in, press Control 2 to get into a uh, that rendered state where you can see through things. Uh, zoom into this hole and I will now locate the center of that hole with a point. Do the same for the other guy here. There to there and then I'm going to go to this holes generation component. Now I've set it up for a 5 16 diameter hole. We've got circular down here and in order to get it to work on center I have to offset it by minus 5 30 second. I'm not sure just why that is but I think it's some kind of a bug in the uh, component. It should be 0 0 for the way I'm going to use it. Anyway that's what you have to have. And so we'll just apply that. We'll click on the plate I want to uh, punch a hole in. And it's down saying pick objects. Well, I don't have any more objects, so I'm going to middle mouse. And now I'm going to go and click on the spot. And I'll do it again. Middle mouse. Click on the spot. And there we go. Now the reason I've had to do this is because when we convert a plate with 5 16 holes to DXF, it doesn't work. So um, what you end up getting is a 1 inch diameter hole instead of a 5 16 diameter hole. So I've had to do it this way in order to get the DSTV to work. I'm not sure uh, to what level uh, this works. I think it works or 7 16 diameter holes, but I guess you'd have to try it and see what's going on. There probably is a way to correct this. If you go to the DSTV, uh, DSTV to DXF folder under your NT folder, you will find a uh, def file for Imperial or for metric. And within that def file, there's uh, some options to change the way this works. I think that probably would be the answer to, to solving this. But this is the way I'm having to do it now. So that's the end of the video, and uh, we'll see you uh, soon on another one.